Hi, this is Jim Blassingame, the Small Business Advocate. And if you'll give me three minutes of your time, I'll help you have the maximum opportunity to be successful in your small business. Now, let's talk about why what's good for small business is good for the world. Recently, we learned that gross domestic product in the U.S. went negative in the fourth quarter of last year. One negative growth quarter is serious since it's half of the definition of a recession. There are many factors contributing to this drop, but arguably the most significant are unpopular government policies, fiscal uncertainty, and political unleadership that are worrying half of the U.S. economy, small business owners, a lot. Recently, in two online polls that we took a couple of weeks apart, we asked small business owners first, what's the likelihood of another recession? And then, what's your initial indication of business growth for the new year? On the question of a double-dip recession, only 4% said zero. We just had a bad quarter. But the other 96% of our respondents ranged from 50-50 to 75% to 100% likely of another recession. There's a concept I've reported on before of which we all have to be mindful. It's called availability cascade. This is when we read and hear in the media about a possibility so much that we begin to accept it as reality. An economic example would be when the media and so-called experts talk about a recession so much that we accept the hypothetical as inevitable. Availability cascade is made manifest when, as consumers and business owners, we make buying and operating decisions based on someone's opinion rather than the facts right in front of us. Which brings us to our second poll of small business owners about the economy. Only 11% of our respondents reported good to definitely improving business conditions, with the remaining 89% ranging from no improvement yet to don't expect improvement. It's not good news when 96% of the sector that is made up of the most pathologically optimistic humans on the planet think we have a 50% to 100% chance of another recession. And sure, you could blame availability cascade for some of this response. But when 9 of 10 of the same sector reports no sign yet of economic improvement, that's rubber meets the road stuff that not only shouldn't be discounted, but actually validates the first poll. Small business owners create over half of the U.S. economy and sign the front of over half of private paychecks. It's not an exaggeration to say that turning this sector around alone would essentially turn around the economy. So if the political class really wants economic recovery and growth, they'll stop doing whatever they're doing. Ask small business owners what they want, and then do that. We'll wait here on Main Street for their call. Write this on a rock. What's good for small business is good for the world. This is Jim Blassingame. I'll see you on the radio or on the internet at smallbusinessadvocate.com.